and what a great day to sew something wonderful. I'm Kia with Kia B. This is Tech Guy from the Hive and, and welcome, welcome to Floss, Floss Tube. Tube. So excited to be back with you today. <laughs> Had a busy week. We uh, earlier today posted our Mania video. So all of our plans for Mania for the year 2020 posted them. Post them. Yes, yeah, so we've had them all figured out. Uh, Tech Guy has been bobbinating like crazy because I do like to have um, all the DMC bobbinated and he offered to do that for me. Yes. So he's been working through those project bags today, uh, getting those done. Yep. So yeah, so we posted that video. Hopefully you've watched it. It's just over an hour. So it's a good long stitching video um, where we literally open every single project that we chose for Mania and uh, we go through that and show you what fabric we chose. I talk about substitutions that I've made and this, that, and the other. We found out that I didn't have fabric for two projects. Yeah, we realized Oops. didn't have fabric for all the projects, so. It's not a big deal, I'm not freaking out. Yeah, so um, that, was, that was a good video, I think. So if you are participating in this round of 24 hours of cross stitch, we nod you. Uh, that nod. was, um, yeah, we hope that Things go well. That things go All well your dreams you. and stitching yes. projects go well. Yes. Um, I was going to participate in this round of 24 hours of cross stitch, but uh, our roof was pretty di badly damaged um, in that storm we had a few weeks ago. It was, we already needed a new roof. Mm -hmm. um, but along with that storm, it was like, oh, we need a new roof now, like during this time that we're in. And so um, we're getting a new roof this week. And Weekend weekend and um i just don't foresee that that being conducive to uh filming a 24 hours which i don't have to film it it would just be fun but um not with trying to i i foresee our five-year-old getting a few headaches this week because we it's not like we can go somewhere while they're working on a roof i don't know the hive so. mic <clears throat> just bringing this on you because you've sprung things on me in the last video uh, maybe the hive will do its own 24 hours considering my schedule change. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, More. Jen Lee is the mother of, uh, Stephanie called her that in their video this week, or maybe on a live stream. I don't remember, but, um, Jen Lee anyway, is the G Jen Lee and her mother, Cindy, um, are the, kind of founders of 24 hours of cross stitch. It's literally where you stitch for 24 hours. They they typically do it straight, uh, but they give you like a 48 hour window. It started today, I think at four o'clock and it goes through Sunday. So they're actually giving you more than that. And that way um, you have a full like 48 hours, 72 hours, whatever to get 24 hours of stitching in, um, which is great. Like it's so fun. If you have not seen our video on that, <laughs> It's a very fun one. It's very funny. Or scary. I mean, if you get scared or about scary that. Or scary to see this demise, which, y'all, let's just talk about that mini video. We looked rough. We looked like this time is not doing us well. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. I've got my so, tan on, though. I mean, this is just, this has become my hair. My hair has decided to socially distance. So. It's socially something. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. I still so, love you. Anyway. All right, well, speaking of, so yeah, if you're doing 24 hours this round, good luck. Uh, I love uh, watching all the Instagram posts and stuff with everybody and what they're working on in their progress and how tired they are, or how awake they are. It's just really fun. And I love to, my favorite thing about the 24 hour weekend is to wake up the next morning and see how much people progress progressed over the night. Like that's so fun for me to see that. And so I'm looking forward to seeing it's that. It's fun to see progress. That's not yours. Yeah. Absolutely. And you're able to sleep. Yeah. True. So uh, I look forward to those those posts as well. Yeah. Um, let us know what you're working on during your 24 hours of cross stitching. Again, it's not a hard, fast rule. Oh, my allergies. I'm sorry. I'm sniffling a lot. My allergies are really. They venomous. are allergies. Rough. Yes. I'm not. Yes. Everything allergies. is allergies. allergies. Our allergies. nine year old is really struggling right with, now. With allergies. So. Uh, though, anyway, to yeah. say that, to say this. Yeah. Have fun. There's no hard, fast rules. Yep. Um, make it your own. Kind of like mania, right? So, yes. There, there's an outline, but you don't even have to follow the outline. You can just do your own thing. True. Right? Very true. Yeah. Um, also, if you've not watched our mania video, make sure you watch it. Make sure you watch it all the way to the end. 
It's my poor attempt at winking. We've been trying to teach our seven-year-old how to wink this week. He, he found out. I know. I can't wink very well. He did figure it out. He did. He's very proud of himself. But very he proud. It out. Very yes. proud. Today was the last day of our kids' homeschool community. So we've been meeting virtually for the last four weeks. Um, but today was the last day of community day virtually. And so now that's just wonderful because we're done with research papers. We're done with like this and that. And we can just now do like the bare minimum as our normal school days. And we're done with like the girth of our year. So I feel old today. I feel very old today. Very old today. Our nine-year-old had to do his very first research paper the, and present it. Yes. And in full ensemble. And full ensemble. He did a research paper on Vincent Van Gogh and his life. And he found out some very um, interesting facts about Vincent Van Gogh, which also sparked uh, some very... Good debate. Good, not debate, not conversation. Good conversation. conversation yes, there was debate. no debate. But good conversation about like, yeah, bud, like this is how, this is how his life went and this is him and so um you know trying to get a nine-year-old to see maybe a different aspect that obviously is out of these four walls and um life that people deal with and so uh he presented and very well very proud very of very well and dressed up in costume had a little mustache and everything and it was great yeah it was so. officially filled our oldest kid filled feel yeah so anyway, anyway, with that being said, let's talk about stitching. Yes. Did we, uh, did we have any good conversations with the stitchy friends this week? Yeah. 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 You want to say who? Go ahead. <laughs> we all have I feel like you're leading me into I am, something. I am. It's like leading a horse to water. I'm just, yeah. gonna, I'm just going to say. Oh, uh, I'm like so itchy right now. I'm so sorry, guys. I promise I'm not sick. I have, I'm having like a super allergy attack right now. Go ahead. Did you eat cinnamon? I did not, but it feels like I did. Okay, as long as you're not chewing gum. Uh, we ordered from a takeout place for dinner that also serves cinnamon dessert stuff, and I'm wondering if there is some sort of like cross contamination issue. Hopefully, that's so. the only cross contamination we have. Yeah. Today. Sure. Um. So. What is happening? I mean, guys, just it's fine. Just deal. It's. I'm just gonna deal. We're just gonna have fun. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm so distracted. Little. little distraction there okay so stitching friends stitching friends um so you had some stitchy friend conversation? i got to stitch today with liz and stuff um and it was lovely it was a lovely time we do it for about two hours every thursday mm -hmm. and so uh um, hi ladies hi ladies yeah um we do it for about two hours every thursday and it was lovely yeah, um you. Like there's so many, we were just t discussing this on our floss tubes, or I mean on our, uh, <laughs> yikes, on our stitchy calls today. I'm, I'm struggling over it's here. It's a blur all of over a on this side of the camera. All of a sudden I am <laughs> <laughs> dazing really hard. Um, anyway, on our call today, we were discussing, there are just so many floss tubes and like, I mean, you could not possibly watch every single one of them. I mean, maybe right now you could, but you just can't keep up you... in all different walks of life and different yeah. uh, backgrounds. And it's just phenomenal. Yeah. And yeah. Just and we awesome. know of a fun one coming out. Can't give too much away because I don't want to spoil the, mm -hmm. yeah. the surprise. Some good friends of ours are uh, starting a, a floss tube and we're yes. very, very excited about it. We should see it come pretty soon. Yeah. Within the next month. I yeah. Would say. Uh, last final pieces, uh, get into their house and things like that. Yeah. Um, good friend of mine, Koi, um, just amazing guy that I, uh, kind of just talked to at market. I thought you were going to say fell in love with, and I was like, well, I mean, it's okay. <clears throat> I told Stephanie today that Nathan has found his stuff. Oh, my stitchy best friend. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you want to make it public now. <laughs> I mean, awkward. we just like, boom, <laughs> threw it out there. So, uh, good anyway. friend, uh, good friend of mine, Koi, uh, met him at market, really great guy. Uh, fantastic wife, very sweet lady. Um, and then another friend of ours that we met, uh, Heather. Uh, Who is their business, uh, Sarah's business partner. Yep. And then we met Scott, which is Heather's husband. Hi, Scott. Mm -hmm. Hi, Heather. How you doing? Hi, Heather. Yes. Um, so they're just doing a lot of cool things coming up. and just. I love seeing new stitching couples. I love stitch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love couples who stitch together. I think that's phenomenal. I think it's I think it's just great that you can share a hobby like that. Steel City Stitchers, I almost did not get that out right. 
Um, I've been watching them for a couple of weeks and one of their husbands stitched. He's not on floss tube, but one of their yet. husbands stitched. Yet. And I think so that's really encouraged. cool. It's such a bonding thing, even though like you're not, we don't even sit next to each other. We have, we have opposite places to sit. And, and we're happy about it. <laughs> but what we're most happy about, oh. May 16th is our wedding anniversary. And for our anniversary presents this year, we are buying each other new recliners. I'm sorry. Are we old? <laughs> no, we just know what we want when we sit. Right. So anyway, so we are sitting, even though we're sitting separately, it's like such a good bonding experience that you're just like, I'm excited to see his progress. And I think. Same way. The same way. I think you're excited to see my progress. And it's just fun to like talk stitching things and watch floss tube and yeah, have someone to watch it with. Yeah, so. absolutely. I said that after StitchCon last year, everybody was like. I'm just so sad because I don't have my stitching bestie with me after, you know, after StitchCon. It just makes me miss, like, my stitching bestie. And then I come home and now I'm stitching by myself after a weekend of stitching with my to. bestie. And I'm like... You don't have to. I'm really spoiled because, I mean, you're my best friend and, like, you stitch. Does Steph know that? I know. That's funny. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> um, anyway, anyway, all that to say, just, let's actually talk we're about We're just like all over the place. No so, way. yes, we stopped, we did, I did a stitch with me for, um, that was your phone. Mm -hmm. I did a stitch with me with, uh, St Steph and Liz today. Wonderful ladies. Yes. And then, uh, of course we have a regular Saturday night stitch with the Crafter Emporium. Yes. That's so. been, that's been very, very fun. Yeah. Super fun. Um, okay, so obviously we did not film a floss tube last week, and here is why it's totally my fault. Um, we very much feel strongly that you come to watch us and that you choose to spend your time with us when you could, again, be spending it with the hundreds of other floss tubers out there. Um, could be thousands. Could be thousands at this point, who knows. Um, and especially during this time, we want this to be uplifting and encouraging. And I want to bring to you the most we. um authentic floss tubes, like everyday life floss tubes. And I'm just going to be very honest that last week was very hard. Thursday especially was just a very, very hard day where just uh, we're, we are all having those days. Mm -hmm. And Thursday was that day for me. And Friday was kind of like a hangover from Thursday. And so, you know, I just thought, you know what? We're just not going to film. We're going to pick it up next week when we do Mania, do Floss Tube next week. It'll be fine. And I know that our channel is better for that because I did not come here and, and put on a face and right. try to pretend. I just didn't want to do that. That's that's not what we are about. So. No, and uh, it reminds me or tell, wants me to like spark something up myself. Um, make sure you have a support group out there, uh, not just during these times, but have someone to talk to. Mm. Um, we have a phenomenal small group, uh, that we meet with for our church and we meet with them once a week virtually right now. And, uh, yeah, it's okay. That's, that's awesome. It's okay. So just make have sure your friends reach out to someone. Yep. Just, Absolutely. you know, insta text someone or call someone just, yeah. uh, you know, just make sure you have that support group. Yeah. So. Anyway, we're going to actually just get into yes. stitching. Oh my goodness. 13 minutes in and <sighs> almost 14 minutes. Sorry. Okay. All right. Stitching. Let's talk about stitching. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. No, we did not not stitch last week because Dude, of... I had one of the largest stitching weeks I've ever had. Did Over you? a two-week period, I probably put in almost 3,000 stitches. Life goals? Uh, not 3,000. Maybe 2,000. That's still a lot. That's a lot. It's, it's a hefty. A it's a hefty stitch. Yeah. Your hand hurt? It could be closer to now that I'm How could you with my that planner. I know. Thing over there. Okay, so we did not do this first because that's different. Do this first. Yeah. All right. Avlia. We did figure out. Krista said it Krista, on Fiber Talk. You're so week. gracious. On Easter, she was on Fiber Talk promoting their business. It is Avlia. Hi, Ivana. Hi, Gary. How are yes. you doing? Okay, so Avlia, Armenian Rams horn. I love this piece. It's awesome. It's great. I would have mm -hmm. a lot more, but I caught myself in a mistake. And you know mm -hmm. how to take those things out. The great thing about this, let me say this before you show your progress. Sure. If you can look at that up close, like it's basically like a coloring book. So you're going to, whatever way you choose to do it, you would outline everything first and then color it in basically, which you Now you've you offended half our subscribers because I don't color that way. What? I color in and then... Oh. Yeah. Don't do that. I was like, how is that offensive? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Okay. Ha, ha, ha. 
So this. Oh look! Oh be able wow! To sure. I don't have anything to. It's okay. It's all right. To put behind it. Nope. Yep. Don't have anything. Don't to put do that. It. So there it is. So. This is just from where residue. he ripped out those stitches. Yeah. So it's residue. So but. a little bit of residue. This fabric is Makini. It is in one kit. Comes with a needle. Comes with all the floss you need. Mm -hmm. Comes with the fabric. Um, did I say it comes with a needle? Needle. Comes it does with, come with a needle. Comes with a needle. Mm -hmm. Very easy uh, instructions to read. Things like that. And the fat the floss sits on top of the fabric yeah it's actually like raised yes. like a little bit more than i would find on a linen and a normal linen this bikini so the more i work with it the more i'm loving so it. i just love how this, and this is 30 count yes and i love how this just pops out mm -hmm. just yeah so it doesn't look like when you're looking at this like that like this does not look like the two should match and i'm saying and I'm not but saying, once he starts adding color yeah and i it's just, it's amazing. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, right now, I'm kind of in a cool down period, and I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, just the prep of mania uh, and things like that. Mm -hmm. I want to sit down when I stitch at night, late at night. I don't want to be looking at a pattern, trying to figure out my next step. After yeah. I get these three or four blocks, I should be ready to go. So, so everyone's that's been your whip. That's been my whip. So, let's talk about the elephant in the room. We did not stitch or did not not do the floss tube because oh you're moving on to finishes okay it's not finished well but okay right okay it's not finished i was considering it that but no. it, it's your project nope. so this is on hold <laughs> and the only reason that was my really failed attempt it's though. okay it's that way better than i could have done it drum roll um the only reason why it's on hold is because i don't have any more alabaster and that's okay. Completely out of alabaster. That's okay. Like that's where I wanted to get to um, last week is to run out of floss, and it wasn't a me thing; it was a floss thing. Um, so mm -hmm. that's where we're at. This looks so like that variegation, just the slightest variegation. I think Park Hopper Bart is going to love this as well. Yeah, it's awesome. It's so cool. It's great. So how many bands do you have left? I've got four. No, three. I've got three left. I was like, wow, I didn't think you had that It's many. almost done. We're like at so the final cool. home stretch. I mean, I did coordinate my nail polish to be at this. Oh, that's that was very nice. I did not do that. <laughs> so that is not an ask for someone to send me alabaster. Again, <laughs> I do not want anybody to go out to the post office because of me. Or I understand that people want to do that. I thank you, but... I pull out, I decline, just stay at home, be safe, be well. Mm -hmm. I am not essential. Yes, because like, we have don't. had emails and messages like, hey, I have alabaster, do you want that? And I want to be as polite as I can, but I would feel really bad if y'all went out, got it, and sent it, and something happened. Yeah. Just, I don't want, I don't want to think about it. So, anyway, that's where we're at. That's where I'm at. Actually, that's where I'm at. Yep. I'm yawning. Oh, I'm so I'm, sorry. I'm boring. No, you're not boring. I just I it's was all right. yawning. I forgot to take this off of here. I need it's to okay. Show it. Did you show that? I have not yet. I I will. Oh, I know uh -oh. I'm taking off mm -hmm. the wrong thing. Stall, stall, stall. Trying to get this off of here so I don't give away too many things at the same time. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I have been working. I got a lot done actually yes, on this. This is be kind, be true. Hello by or hello from. <laughs> Liz Matthews, I get that wrong every single time. Um, I'm, I stopped. I was just stitching this on our call and I had half stitches in it. So this is Be Kind, Be True. The last time you saw this, I believe I only had this middle section done. Oh. So I put a couple trees in and did these side borders. Now this goes all the way up here. I didn't bring the pattern in here because I failed. Um, but this is not the top border. There is a full section of words up here that say Be Kind, Be True. So I am what here What a beautiful for this. piece. What a beautiful piece. I love piece. it. I love it. So, I am very much working on that. So. It's great. It's been fun. Okay, my next whip that I, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I got a ton of progress done on is my sampler for 2020 from the Drawn Thread. This is Sunnyside Sampler. And I worked mm -hmm. on this. I put in almost a thousand stitches just on this guy. Um, and it looks I great. Looks am obsessed wonderful. and you guys will see here in a minute when we talk about haul, why I've been able to put so many stitches in 
Um, but look at that. Look at that. If you remember when I worked on this back in February or March, I had done these letters, but realized I was a row off. And so I needed to take them out. So I took them out, redid them. And now here is so beautiful. Oh, I love it. I still love this fabric so much. I need to serge the edges. I still love this fabric so much. The way that this floss is popping off of the fabric that white is, is just, just my favorite. That's good. Look how big that cat is, though. That's an awesome cat. How massive that cat is. So, I, yeah, I've just been working like crazy on this um, and taking some time with it, and I have loved it a lot. So, the last time you saw that, that uh, second house was not finished. I did not have a tree. I did not have the big bird or the cat, and I did not have that potted plant done. So. Great job. That was pretty exciting. It's very exciting. Yes. Okay, and then my Avalia piece, which... Um, this is new to you. I have not thought I have not thought about it until this very second. Um, I think we'll just start having an Avalia section on every floss tube cool. because we are loving her patterns so very much. I want to make sure and like show you our progress on them. So I am working on the diamonds table mat, which is this. Cool. I had to make sure I wasn't showing you the chart. So it is that, and I put in like 400 stitches on this. So you saw a little bit of this last week. Um, I think I just had the center done and I told you I had to take a bunch of it out. Look how awesome that's, that's looking. That's beautiful. Like this fabric, this is the Avlia uh, traditional ground cloth, but the way that that is on there, the, I just love it. I love everything about this cloth so much. It feels like a really good canvas in your hands and I'm really just here for it. So that's, yeah. It's phenomenal. Yeah. I would say maybe 400 stitches on it. Three. Almost 500. 500 that's stitches just in that little bit. Yep. So I was really, really working on that a lot this week. So, and it lives in all my Avalia stuff. Lives in this awesome B project bag that one of our subscribers sent us a long time ago. And I love it. Very sweet. Yes. So, so incredibly kind. So that was my whips yes finishes yes. i do not have any finishes i know this i think this is the first floss tube in a minute a minute that i do not have any finishes so i'm grabbing my other pile over here okay so let's talk about haul let's talk about haul okay so uh we actually had a ton of haul from keepsakes uh i ordered 67 skeins of overdyed for Mania Projects, and then I ordered two DMC, um, and then you ordered... The exact opposite. <laughs> yeah, you ordered maybe like 20 skeins of Overdyed and 14 skeins of DMC. Yes. Um, and so, but all of those have already been put away in our Mania Projects so that we could film our Mania video. So you already video. saw them? So you already saw those. <laughs> but those. Um, I also picked up a new Q-Snap, um, and this is the 8x8 size. And I want to take a second and put this together because we've had a lot of questions on how you put these together or how they work. So this is an 8x8 eight eight Q-snap and um, this is from Yarn Tree. And so you'll see it actually has the instructions back there. Um, it's going to get crinkly here for a second. Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. That is some very sticky packaging. Okay. So you are going to get four identical pieces that look just like this. So they are gonna have, and new Q snaps are always super tight. So you're gonna have four elbows like this, mm -hmm. and four of those things. Four of these, these are what grip your fabric, okay? So you're just gonna place your elbows together and you're gonna make a square, okay? So I've got that. And then this elbow goes here. What in the world? Oh, and this one's really tight. I may not be able to get this by myself. This one's really, really tight. There we go. Okay, don't, like I'm, I was really trying to force it. You gotta be careful, cause you don't wanna break it. And over time they do loosen up. Okay, so I've got this. Now I've got my last piece and it just fits in right there. The problem I think is that people don't take off the clamps before they try to put it together and that confuses people. So, okay, so now you've got your square like this, mm -hmm. right? 
So now what you want to do is let me grab a piece of fabric. I'm only going through this because I really have had a lot of questions lately of like, can you explain Q snaps and all that stuff? So let me grab a smaller piece of fabric here. This is going to be another Avlia kit that I picked up at um, Market. So this one I do not have near as done, near as much done. But okay, so now you've got this and you don't have your clamps on there, right? So you're going to lay it down and you're going to put the front of your fabric, obviously, where you're working in the middle, just like that. Okay. And what I do is I just pick a side. So I'm going to pick this side right here and I'm just going to go ahead and try and keep that fabric as straight as I can. And look, you're just going to snap it down like that. Okay. It doesn't matter how, like what the positioning on this bar is because you're, you can adjust it. Okay. So now what I do is I do whichever one I picked, I do the exact opposite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this like this and I'm going to pull this pretty tight because I like it to be very, very tight. So I'm going to pull this as tight as possible. And then it's hard for me to hold it up and do it. So then I'm going to take this one and snap it like that. Okay. So now you get that tighter by moving these. And this is a brand new Q-snap. So it is really, really hard to move, but you're going to pull that. And now listen, like a drum. Yes. Okay. So then you're going to do your opposites. Okay. So then you're going to do this side. You're just going to put this over the top of it. I kind of do like a scooping motion. So I kind of put it forward. Sorry, there's cars and then do that. And then the other one I dropped on the floor, but you would do that. And then it does, it holds it in there like a drum. And that's how I get a good stitch out of that. That's awesome. Okay, so that's exactly how a Q-snap is gonna work. And then the nice thing about it, the more Q-snaps that, I think somebody's playing on a dirt bike, I apologize. Um, the It doesn't have to come out right now. Okay. The more Q-snaps you accumulate, you can make different sizes. So <laughs> I was stitching with Steph one day and I was using a Q-snap and she was like, what size is that? And I was like, I have no idea. I have no idea. It was like a, it was like a weird size rectangular. And I was like, I have no idea. I just have taken all the elbows apart and Frankenstein, a bunch of Q snaps. It's, like an adult, it's an adult Lego set. Yeah. So as long as you are using like brands. So if you have all Q snaps, because there are some, uh, there are some other brands at some of the bigger box, um, craft stores, as long as you're using the same brand, I, I should think it would be okay to make different sizes. So you see like sunny side sampler is really long. I have a Q snap that is for sunny side sampler. It makes it really long and very skinny. So yeah. Cool. So that was part of our haul from keepsakes. The other bit of haul tech guy surprised me and it's so, so sweet. So this is, um, zappy dots, which y'all know that we collect zappy dots through our creative notions box. And then we've picked up a few at market. Um, and so we got a package from Zappy Dots this week, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous um, headband, like wrap, neck, scarf, kind of infinity thing. Look at, well, maybe I should hold it up like, you know. A it's person. okay. It's all right. Okay, there we go. Look how cute that is. So this is basically a tube. Um, and you can wear it as a headband. You can scrunch it up and wear it as a headband or like right now you can wear it. It does not have any of like the protective, any agents of a face mask, uh, but you can wear it over your face and at least it keeps your germs from going to other people, which is exactly what we should be doing right now. So as you're going out into public, you can definitely just put this around your neck and then pull it up over your mouth and your nose if you need to. But I, I just bought it for her for her headband. Yes. Her hair is growing my hair is growing so i think i'm gonna let it keep growing i think if you've been around a long time you've seen a lot of hairstyles when we first started youtube my hair was down in the middle of my back um and then it's kind of like gone this way and then last year it was like boom all gone so but i think i'm i think i'm i i, I like this length the back obviously needs to catch up it looks a little ragged uh but i like this length i just want my whole head to be about that length i think but anyway, anyway, yes. Okay. Um, okay. The last thing for haul that I have is this beautiful, beautiful, so much to love bag. This is so much to love project bag of the month. 
that we purchased from So Much to Love, Karen. Look at the little bunnies and the Easter eggs and the birdhouses and all the flowers. I just love this so much. She always includes like super cute little accents. So we purchased their bag. Oh, the heart was stuck inside. I don't know. And then there is always a heart uh, as the zipper pull. And then look at the pink gingham. Love that. There are already two mania projects in here, which is um, appropriately Easter Wednesdays. So that's in here. And then this is the little floss bag that you can purchase as an add-on. And we definitely get that. And then inside, she gave us M&Ms for, for this month. She always includes like a little, a little extras. Okay. And then there is this mm -hmm. wooden little um, floss drop called, uh, and it says Hoppy Stitching. I get it. Look at that Peter Rabbit. Are you joking? And then they have their logo burned in the back. This is just beautiful. That's awesome. I love it so much. So I guess you could use this as a scissor fob floss drop if you would like to. And then she gave us two Victorian Motto Sampler Shop Overdyed Floss in Blue Bonnet and Pink um, Hyacinth. Look at those. Cool colors. They're beautiful colors. Very and they're cute. actually coming up pretty true to color yes. on the camera. So, yeah, which is just so lovely. And then she always writes a sweet note and all the things. So I've really enjoyed, I, I was so grateful that I got to sign up for Bag of the Month. She had a few openings two months ago, like yes. right, right after market. So we got to um, sign up for that. And I love yep. these project bags. These are phenomenal. So yeah, and she does a great job. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about post, shall we? The post. The post. First off, I got a really, really, really sweet card from, I don't know why I just hauled up the envelope. Uh, look at this adorable That's peanuts awesome. card. And we got this from Misty at Luminous Fiber Arts. Uh, she had watched our video and we had sent her a sweet card after uh, market this year. And so she just wrote me the sweetest little note Thank you. in here. And it's just so encouraging and snail mail land. There's just something about snail mail. And getting cards in the mail that I just, it's so special. Call me old fashioned. Yes. Okay, the last thing we got in the post is actually, oh no, this is not the last thing. And this is not the last haul. I skipped something in haul. Okay, we'll come back to that. The last thing we got in the post is this um, two actually beautiful kits. This is from Avlia. So this is their brand new embroidery kit. Um, and there are two of them. So this is the first one. And whoops, here is the second. Beautiful pieces. Aren't they gorgeous? So this is embroidery and um, she comes, this whole kit, it comes with 100% Kona cotton marked with design, 100% cotton DMC embroidery floss, the hoop, a John James needle, and of course the instructions. So when you get this, it's going to be printed actually on the design itself. I wanted to show you this awesome packaging. So she sent these to us in an envelope. And then when you take them out, the um, there's a card, obviously, a thick cardstock right on the front that shows you what the pattern is and what is inside the kit. But this is actually a sealed envelope, cardboard envelope. So all of your things are inside and you can see like it's fairly thick. So I can feel the hoop inside of there. Um, and then obviously all the materials. So this one is the Byzantine. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that because I know I'm gonna get it wrong. I'm so sorry. Okay, and then this one is the Pennsylvania Posy. It's like a project in a box. So I know that Fiber Talk, Gary and Vana are getting ready to start this that one, one. And that's really exciting. That's super fun. So um, if you would like to, I, every week, Every week I'm going to hit him in the face. I'm so sorry. You haven't yet. I've tried to. Okay. Um, if you would like one of these kits. <laughs> Stop it. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. If you would like one of these kits, we want to give them to you. So we're going to give both of these kits away on our channel this week. And so um, we want you to comment down below. Don't comment uh, giveaway. Don't comment like win or free or anything like that. Comment. Um, have you, I want you to comment that you. Let's try this one more time. Reverse. Okay. <laughs> the thing I want you to do. Okay. In order to win, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> 
Okay, the thing I want you to do is to go over to Avlia's website. It is avlia.life. I want you to go over to her website. I want you to peruse all of her new releases this month. I want you to peruse all her market stuff. I want you to peruse her website. Come back. I want you to comment what your favorite design was um, or if there's anything that you would stitch in her shop. What a great idea. And then um, comment which one you would like. So maybe say Pennsylvania for this one and say Byzantine for this one. And we will choose two separate winners for that. Please just be mindful that unfortunately right now this needs to stay in the U.S. because of the postal issues that we are having. So I'm really sorry. I know that's stinky, uh, but just to make sure it gets to the person. We've had something we've been trying to send to Canada for like three months now and it's not getting there. And so um, I've had it rejected twice. So we just want to make sure that, that these get to you. So again, go over to her website. We'll link it in our description. Um, if not, it's avlia.life. Go over there, peruse her shop, and then come back and tell us what your favorite design of hers was. And if you would like these embroidery kits, just say Pennsylvania or Byzantine. So couldn't have said it better myself. My goodness. Okay, the last part of our haul is the most exciting part of our haul. I ordered this the day we got back from market. So we got back from market on a Sunday. I ordered this on Monday and I'm obsessed with it. So this is the Artisan Designs. Would you stop? This is the Artisan's Design. Art I can't talk. I, I think there was cinnamon in that I order. Can, I can hear it and I, yeah. 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 <clears throat> my allergic reaction consists of fogginess, which is totally normal <laughs> in anything. Uh, but my tongue will swell up. I get blisters in my mouth and in my throat, and I have a, I struggle talking. So I'm 90% sure that's what happens. So happened. I'll be taking Benadryl. Anyway, so this is from Artisan Designs. This is the Elan stand. I should have folded this up. It compacts all nicely, un, uh, unscrews, and all fits down here so that you just have the size of this is how you carry it. This is the extender arm, and you can put scroll frames in here. You can put Q-snaps, which is what this uh, little adapter is for. So you just use it like this. You put your scroll frame in there, or you can use an adapter like this, which comes with the stand to uh, make it fit for Q-snaps, which is what I have been doing. So the thing is, like I have that long skinny one from Sunnyside Sampler. This actually extends, and I probably will hit you in the face with this all the way out. It's huge. I mean, that's insane. That's awesome. And so uh, it fits really, really comfortably. It has this magnet here, which is nice for just your needle mm -hmm. um, as kind of a makeshift needle minder. And then it has these really soft cork bottom to it. So as it's sitting on your lap, uh, it's, it's working really, really well. So as you all know, I have arthritis in my hands because I cut off my finger when I was a young kid. And I have pretty bad arthritis in my left hand and holding Q-snaps is Never almost anymore. impossible anymore. When I started stitching, um, I was using hoops and I quickly realized I could not use hoops. And then I tried like stitching in hand and then finally I just gave up for years and years and years because I just couldn't do it. And it's not fun, I, it's not fun when it hurts. So then last year I was like, let me try Q-snaps and that's after we had, no, before we had started filming, it was like in November of 2018, maybe October of 2018. And I was like, okay, let me try a Q-snap. And then I started stitching a Q-snap and I was like, oh my goodness, I can finally do this. And then I found the world of floss tube. And then we started floss tube and I've been stitching in a Q-snap. But for some reason lately, I just can't have a good session of like binge stitching. And so um, I know a few people who use this Elan stand and have raved about it. And y'all, I mean, I had almost between two and 3,000 stitches in the last two weeks, which is a, a good chunk for me. And so um, this stand has really just been helping. So I just lay back, this arm adjusts, um, I don't want to fall on me, but you just unscrew the bottom and then it adjusts all the way forward or front. This top piece up here, this adjusts, so you can move it to whatever you need it to. It's so cool. It's awesome. It's been incredibly, incredibly helpful. Uh, truth be told, this is my second. I was shipped one. It takes, they, they have a lot of orders right now. So it took about four weeks after I paid for it for them to ship it. 
uh, because they are just, it's a, it's a husband and wife and they do all their own manufacturing, ordering all the things. And so it took about four weeks to have it made and it got here and somewhere in the post it was damaged. And so uh, they exchanged it for us and I finally got it about two weeks ago and have been using it every day and have been incredibly, incredibly happy. So if you struggle with uh, some of that stuff, it's definitely look worth a look, so. It is, and it's more of the more of a affordable um, a alternatives there. that you can have out there, and yeah. I'm not knocking on anything. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not knocking on anything. Yeah. Um, but it's really good to see her get excited and not go through the pain that she's gone through mm -hmm. the last several months. Um, having some serious conversations around uh, stitching and I knew that wasn't going to be uh, the answer we were looking for. So we found a solution and uh, she's happy with it. That means I'm happy with it. Mm -hmm. And then she's making some progress, which is yeah. great. I'm sure those of you with arth arthritis have, have had this happen, but he actually witnessed this firsthand. Uh, we were cooking Thanksgiving dinner and as I was stirring, my hand froze and I was like yelling. I mean, you guys, if you have arthritis, you know what this is. My hand froze around the spoon and just would not let go. And I was like, yell, it hurts so, so bad. And just since that Thanksgiving moment, it's just been downhill since then. So anyway, I say always that, say have this, a find moment. a way to enjoy your hobby. Yes, absolutely. Please. And if there's not a tool out there to help you, then inquire with some other people. Um, see if anybody else knows of anything. And if not, then maybe, maybe that's a time that you're not the only one struggling with it and a design needs to be made somewhere. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Someone, so anyway. someone has a solution for you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. For sure. So, all right. With all of that being said, do you have anything else stitching wise or anything? No. Uh, thank you for being encouraging. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thank you for the amazing comments. Uh, mm -hmm. we do We've not... had some really good conversations on our Mania video today. Yes. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, you know who you are. Thank you very much. And uh, we don't take this for granted. Uh, we just appreciate you guys being here. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us in the hive this week. We hope you all have a restful weekend and beginning to your week. And uh, yeah, if, if you don't have a support system actively, please be trying to look for one. Just someone that can check on you and that you can check on them. Yes. All right. Well, thank you again for joining us in the hive this week and y'all have a great weekend.